God deal. So Christians would say, Alhamdulillah, yeah. using the name Allah. Now, Alhamdulillah, now. I grew up as a Christian, you know, and I became, I know I'm a Christian. Uh, Allah is not a threatening word. Inshallah. Inshallah. Very popular. Lord willing. Inshallah. Uh, here, this is Berzay in English. And this is Medda. They were almost were on the same line. A lane. And this is Linda. Okay, Michael mentioned that and showed you. If this is Palestine, let's say this is Palestine. It was, it became, and here is the big city, Jerusalem. Anybody can tell me what is it in Hebrew? How good. Huh? The Arabic. In, uh, Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim. Yeah. Yerushalayim. First All the city. Like Dutch. Mm. So, in 1948, this part became, let's say, just for, I know it's not the shape of Israel, but let's say this part became Israel. This here part became, let's put the letter. Do you know what WB stands for? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. And bank, uh, west of which bank? Yeah, the bank must be the side of a river. Yeah. So what river is that? Aha. Yes, sir. You cheat. I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. No. So anybody knows? Euphrates. No. Yeah. Yeah. Start with a big J. Jordan. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan River, right here, we can make that, Jordan River, this is the West Bank, so in 1948, my dad's town wasn't taken by Israel, that's my dad, my dad from this family, Abdullah, and the question, Michael is, Learn from me why my name is not Elias Abdullah. It should be. When I go to Jordan, I'm Elias Abdullah. When I'm here, I'm Elias George. Because, watch this, the mentality of my parents. And they are typical Arabs. When we became refugees, and we went to Amman, May I erase that? May I? To the boss. And <laughs> here, Amman. When we moved to Amman, we were known as refugees, and this is what the United Nations had. Every refugee family received a ration call, where monthly you go get a month of flour, rice, lentils, piece of salt, oil, and for winter will give you a blanket. And guess what? MCC played part there. MCC, Melanite Central Committee, he played part in this. But the under United Nations, they call it UNRWA. What are these letters stand for? The first ones, United Nations Refugees Working Agency. United Nations Refugees. They have organizations that deal with the affairs of refugees. Till now, United, United Nations do things. So, United Nations gave ration call. This card, if you carry it, you are a refugee, and you have the right to get what they deliver every month. Except in addition to that, guess what? In addition to that, it is evidence they have, you have a property and you left it and the Israeli took it from you. Shall I repeat that? Yeah. 
So in Lidda, we have house. I went in 1973, and Michael and I, I think, and David, did we go to see our house? We couldn't do that at that time. But I took mom and my wife and my oldest brother, and we went to Lidda, and we saw the house occupied by Jewish family. Israelis, Israelis are living in the same house. Huh? Israelis now are living in your family's house. But they built second floor. When I grew up, it was one floor. And I remember the area there. Did you greet them? Did you talk to them? Well, I'm glad you are ahead of me. Uh, Mom started crying. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it's okay. never put this in your lesson in high school when I was in high yeah. school. I was good. This is real. It's... The man, a man came out. He, it looks like uh, when they occupied West Bank, they opened the roads. So a lot of Palestinians who are in West Bank went to their homes. They crossed and uh, then they closed the borders, you know, uh, when it started to happen problems. So the owner came out. He said, Ruh, I have a camera. I took picture. I wish you try. I'll put it in the next maybe, presentation. He said in Arabic, Ruh, Ruh, get out of here. I said, this is our house. I spoke English. He said, get out, Ruh. And then went in and shut the door. We were a little distance from the house. We couldn't. So, all right. My dad and mom, pay attention to this part, please. It's, it's, it goes into the heart what refugee is all about. You want to survive. You want to survive as a refugee. Take me to any place. I'll lie. I'll dig. I want to survive. My dad name. Here's his name. Isa. George. Yaakov. Yaakov being Jacob. Yaakov. Abdullah. That's when you hear Mr. George, young Mr. George, Michael. When he says his name, he put Michael in. So he comes, Michael, Asa, George, Yaqub, Abdan. Since he was a three, four years old, he knows his name. Okay? That's my dad's name. But when they asked him, when they got the call, my mom went after dad. He said, don't choose Abdullah. Why? Let me see. Can you go in my mom's head? And why would she instruct my dad, don't use the name Abdullah? Go in. Imagine your mom told you that, don't use the last name. What the grade is this? Eleven. Eleven, good. Maybe next year you'll learn more. <laughs> no, I, I know they have an idea. idea. <laughs> they might be scared to try it. They are anyway. polite. I know they are polite. But why would Why would and his mom lie? Hey, one his dad to lie I respect you. So they wouldn't know the other. Uh, you might know, but there is hesitation. Hey, yeah, but they, there was an answer. Wait. They wouldn't, wouldn't know their. They wouldn't know your answer. So you could, like, if you play to the George, they wouldn't know that you're fine. But they asked, and my dad said, "Percy." Religion. Yeah, Abdullah is a common name. They wouldn't assume but you were Muslim. Was the Christian used Abdullah before Islam. Remember, Islam appeared as a religion in 622 AD. What is it? 622. I'm telling you a lot, but this is just hang in there. Yeah. 622 AD. Muhammad received these revelations. So, Christianity exists before Islam 622 years. 
You follow? Yeah. And when you hear Abdullah, a lot of people think it's a Muslim name. But really, it is a Christian name. I have books to prove that. It means servant of God. Abdullah, servant of God. Okay, back to here. This Abdullah, a big, the largest family in this town. Is that a clue to give you a is that a good clue? We owned land in Brazil, about 300 olive trees, and maybe 200 fig trees, and, and a vineyard. When you go and say, Abdullah, you are not a refugee. Are you from Brazil? You own land, and you own the olive trees and fig trees? Get out of it. Go back. But even you say, oh, we lost our house here, I think. Oh, you can survive, go. Right. No. But really, we didn't <coughs> care for the rice and the lentils and the piece of soap and the oil. My family always sold that. We didn't need it. <laughs> Did you know that? My dad hated that flour. <laughs> he said to mom, don't make bread. You know, they bake the bread at home. It tasted awful. My dad was picky. Give him bread, he'll be happy. He'll eat it, we call it half, with nothing. Uh, but my dad want to get it to prove that he has a problem today. So my mom, she said, if you use Abdullah, they are going to know we are from Berzay. Very big, large family, and we might not get called to prove that we lost property there. Now, at that time, the rulers <coughs> went around, if Israel doesn't get out of Palestine, you are going to be compensated. <laughs> Let me see if they know compensate. Right. I didn't come around here. <laughs> uh, no, I'll pass. It's okay. Unless you know. You know what Compensate? That means you get paid for something. You get, uh, yeah. you you get, get paid <coughs> for what you lose, or if somebody breaks your nose, you fight with somebody, give it to you. <laughs> Be careful, I'm a boxer too. <laughs> you know, go, go around. I do remember that. That was said. You remember I that? I remember you said that in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't use it to harm anybody. Uh, <laughs> compensate to get back. So really the call, if Israel decided to give money to the refugees, anybody proves that you lost your home, you get money. And the rumors went you will get a lot of money. So mom wants to get money. She doesn't want to lose the compensation. Huh? Okay. So I'm telling them a lot. Shall I stop there? So Abdullah, I grew up, Ilyas, Isa, George, Yaqub. But I have a teacher, like Mr. Kirby. I was in fourth, fifth grade, maybe. And for me, I'll be sitting the first, because Alay, the name Ilyas, that's my name, this letter, is the A, equivalent to A. So they seated us in the schools, mm -hmm. since we are little, alphabetically, but the first day. So Elias. Right. So I started, he said, what's your name? The homeroom teacher at the beginning of the school. Do you remember these things? <laughs> or you don't do that, Elias? I said, Elias, Isa, George, Yaqub, Abdullah. I said, sit down, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you carry this big name, but my dad 
since I was able to walk. What's your name? Elias Isa George Yakub Abdullah. I was a proud of my name. And this teacher, a typical Arabic Christian, that he grew up no thinking that Abdullah is a Muslim name. I attended Catholic school. Down deep, he has a prejudice against Muslims. Even he's Arab, and the Muslims are Arabs. But religion, he's a Christian, they are Muslim. See, we hear about the Muslims, they don't like the Christian. But you know, there are Christians who don't like Muslims. I wonder when Mr. Trump said those seven countries, Muslims are not allowed to come here. What do you consider, Mr. Trump? He loves the Muslims? No. But that's politics, too. Let's uh, leave that aside. Back to the name.